was ordered to pay each member of the mariachi band $34 and was banned from wearing brightly colored hats for a year. It's time to go over now to our so-called reporter, Ray. Hello, Ray. Ray, our amazingly intrepid but slightly stupid reporter, is back with us now. Hello, Ray. Where are you? Sorry? Who are you calling stupid? Oh, the guy standing near a volcano that's about to erupt. That's who. A uh, guy standing near to a volcano that's about to... Hold on! You're talking about me! Anyway, we're running out of time. Let's move this thing along. <clears throat> I'm here on the remote island of Krakatobar, where this huge volcano behind me erupts once every 200 years at the stroke of midnight. I must tell you, everyone here is very, very, very tense at the prospect. Get out of the way. Ahem. It's almost midnight, folks. Hold on to your hats. Three, two, one. Hang on a minute. <laughs> uh, I think my watch may be a tad fast. Hey, you gotta lava that guy. Thank you. 
And to add to his embarrassment, one of them turned out to be a member of the same badminton club. Well, it's no secret in the newsroom that I believe in ghosts. <clears throat> Where was I? <clears throat> oh yes, our intrepid reporter Ray is about to visit Ghostly Manor, which some say is the world's most haunted house. <laughs> Look at him jump. This is going to be good, viewers. I don't believe in all that ghosty nonsense, which is why I'm the best man to go in and report on all these so-called scary goings-on. <laughs> Whoa! What was that? That's more thunder and lightning, Ray. Don't tell me you're scared of the weather. I'm scared of nothing. I am an intrepid news reporter, I'll have you know. Now, if you excuse me, it's time for me to investigate this haunted house. I might even stay the night. So unscary does it look from here. Oh! Yeah! We'll be back tomorrow when we've managed to drag him away from the arms of his mummy. <laughs> Aw, poor Ray. wasn't a roar. It was my tummy rumbling. <laughs> oh, yes. Why is your tummy making those noises? I've been asleep all winter, and I've woken up very hungry. Don't you have any food to eat? There doesn't seem to be any food around here. Hmm, what could we do? Boy, hurry up. Dinner time. I've got an idea. I hope you like jelly sandwiches. I hope so too. Mom, I've got a friend coming for dinner. Oh my goodness, that's a big friend you've got. I'd better get some more jelly. And don't you get hair all over the furniture.
100 mile an hour tails. The three billy goats gruff. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats who lived quite happily munching grass in their meadow until one day the grass was all gone and they had nothing to eat. On the other side of the river, there was a large hill covered in succulent green grass. Unfortunately, the bridge across the river was guarded by a hideous troll who would eat anyone who dared to cross. The billy goats were terrified, but they were so hungry that they decided to face him. The first to cross was the smallest billy goat, who was stopped by the ferocious troll. Don't eat me, said the smallest billy goat. My bigger brother will be along shortly, and he'll be a much more satisfying meal than I would be. The greedy troll agreed and let the smallest billy goat cross the bridge. Next came the middle-sized billy goat, and again the troll threatened to gobble him up. My even bigger brother will be along in a minute, he said, and he would certainly make a much more gratifying feast. Again, the greedy troll agreed and let the billy goat cross the bridge. Before long, the third billy goat arrived. Don't eat me, he said. My huge, delicious, succulent, plump brother will be along in a moment. You should wait for him. Once more, the troll agreed. By now, he was quite peckish and excited at the prospect of a good meal. The troll couldn't believe his eyes. It was the biggest goat he had ever seen, and without hesitation, he swallowed it whole. Unfortunately, his greediness led to a slight case of indigestion. Needless to say, the three billy goats lived happily ever after. Thank <laughs> you.